Hey guys, I hope you're all well. This is just a quick little help video to help you guys out with the drum parts in the email that I sent you. So the first track we're going to look at is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. So you can use the attachment to help you as it shows which drums we're going to play on, but I'm also going to show it on here just to make it even easier. So there are two beats in the song. We've got beat one and beat two. This beat we've actually covered. Um, so beat one we're going to do with our right hand for all of our uh, right-handed drummers and for the left-handed drummers we'll start that on our left hand. So for the right-handed drummers we do our right hand on tom three. And if you can't remember which one that is, remember we've got two toms at the top and one down here which is also called a floor tom. So one, two, three. So beat one on the floor tom. And then we also have beat two, which is the snare drum, which is the one that's in between our legs and it sounds a bit different to the rest of the drums. And then when we put that beat together, we've got one and two. And then if we did it to the tempo of the song, it would be... And so on. And what I do to help me is I count it out loud, so I'd say one, two, one, two, one, two. So that if I get lost at all, I've got that count which helps me out. So we know that if I'm counting one, I'm playing tom three, and if I'm counting two, I'm playing the snare drum. I'd personally, I'd start off slow with this, just get used to hitting the drums, get used to the counting, and then get used to doing both at the same time. And when you feel comfortable, you can start to play it faster. So for Shake It Off, this is quite a nice easy track, but we've got three different chords in there, so it means that we're keeping active, we're moving, um, really good track, quite fast paced as well. So we've got on the email attachment, we've first of all got the um, chords, so we've got A minor, which is the blue sticker, also known as fret two on the first string, and then we've got C which is the red sticker, also known as the third fret on the last string. And then our final chord is G, which is just one fret up from C, the yellow sticker, also known as the second fret on the last string. So, in terms of the how the chords are laid out, we play every chord at the beginning. So if I count to four and I start with A minor, the first chord, It'd be like this, one, two, three, four. And then we'd count to four from that and play our next chord. So from A minor to C, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and C, one, two, three, four. And that is roughly the speed we're gonna be playing at anyway, but obviously feel free to start off slowly and at your own pace. So, for the next bit, we're then going to play G twice. So it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. And then we repeat that all. So back to A minor. One, two, three, four. To C, one, two, three. And then G twice. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. Four. So as long as you follow the lyrics and the, you can then see the chords that are at the end, you know that you have to play those at the beginning of each bit. And if you ensure to count to four every time, you'll get it on the right bit. So the next song we're looking at is We Will Rock You by Queen. Um, this was actually Ruby's song choice a few weeks ago. Um, it is an amazing song for drums. It's probably one of the first songs most drummers learn, so this is a, a great choice. So you can also look at the email attachment to help you out. I've got a picture of all the drums, um, how we play it and how it's all written, but I'm just gonna help you here as well. So we've got the kick drum, just to give you a hint, this is the one that we kick with our right foot for us right-handed drummers, and if there are any left-handed drummers, we'd kick with our left foot. So we have two kick drums, so we've got one, two, so that is two out of our three beats. So just one more time. That's the stomp stomp bit. If you remember in the song, there is a, like a stomp stomp tap section. So we're mimicking that stomp with the kick drum. 
And then the next beat is the tap. So you can either use one of your hands, whichever hand you like, or I use both my hands just because it's got that nice powerful hit. And we do the tap, which is on the snare drum, the one in between our legs. And if you put that together really slowly, you've got stomp, stomp, tap. And saying that rhythm, stomp, stomp, tap, can help us remember. Or if you want to use the counting method, you can do one, two, three. So you've got one, two, three. Either way is really good for helping you find your timing in the song and figure out how to play it. So I'm just gonna play that through one more time for you at full speed, so this is the speed of the song. And again, I'd recommend starting slowly, build up, um, do it at a speed that you're comfortable at, because um, all of our progression is different, and then once you feel comfortable, you can start playing it faster and play it to the song. Okay, so for We Will Rock You, um, we do have a new chord, but really quickly, I'll just show you we've got our A chord, which is the blue sticker, or also known as the second fret on the top string. So, we've got A minor, our first chord, and we've also got G, which is the yellow sticker, also known as the second fret on the last string. So for our new chord, it's E minor. Now this chord is quite hard, so it's good to take the time uh, to learn the finger position, to learn changing between this chord and other chords, um, and just being able to remember what it looks like. So for E minor, we've actually, we're using three of our fingers. So we're gonna start with our finger next to our pinky finger, so this one here, and we're going to put it on the fourth fret on the second string. So if you see that there, so the fourth fret on the second string. And then for our middle finger, we're gonna put that on the third fret of the third string. So there we go. And then for our first finger, the last one, we're actually gonna put it on the yellow sticker here where the G chord goes. And then just to show you what it sounds like. So that is E minor. So what would be good to do is if you take your fingers off and then try that again, try getting that position. So fourth fret on the second string, third fret on the third string, and second fret on the fourth string. And we've also got the email attachment with the ukulele tab to help you. So it's got the picture of the elephants to show you where you need to put your fingers. So in terms of the tab, all of the chords are on there. So in the verses, we've got E minor and A minor, and you play these chords at the beginning. So where it says, buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, we will play that chord on buddy. So we get the chord ready. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, and buddy, you're a boy, make a noise. And then same with the next one. So we'll have, we'll have a bar gap, so that's four beats, because there's four beats in a bar between every chord. So I'll show you the change from E minor to A minor and I'll do it nice and slowly. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and A minor. One, two, three, four. And back, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As for the chorus, um, just so you know, both verses and both choruses are exactly the same, so I'm covering both of these here. For the chorus, we now play G and E minor. And to help you out, we've got the animals on here, which link to the tabs, so we start with G. And with this one, we actually play two chords. So instead of playing a chord and then having the, the uh, four beats, the bar gap, we actually play two beats and then we change. So we go one and then again. So I'll do it super slowly. So what it would be like, if I had the chord right now, we'd go one, two, three, four. So we're playing two chords in a bar of four. So we play on beat one and beat three. So just one more time, let's say I was playing the chord, we'd go one, two, three. Four. So I'll show you with the chords now. So we've got G and then we're going to play E minor. So one, 
two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And then back again, one, two, three, four. And a nice little trick is that you can keep your first finger on G the whole time because you actually use this note when we play E minor. So if I show you, you've got G, and then you can just keep it there and then just put those two fingers there. So that's a nice little trick to help you out there. And then in terms of the structure, we've got the verse, where we play E minor and A minor, and then the chorus, where we play G and E minor, and then back to the verse, where we still play E minor and A minor, and then a chorus, which is G and E minor.